Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a review of my new car. It's a 2010 Scion TC. Uh, got it brand new with like 10 miles on it. Uh, I'm doing the review a little late because I just got, I think it was like yesterday or two days ago, got the accessories installed on it. So we'll go over those later. But to start off with the car, I got a 2010 because in 2011, uh, they come out with a new one and it looks like crap so i like this one a lot better just like every scion tc it comes with those like 17 inch wheels so it has like side blinkers everyone thinks that's pretty cool uh the fr i think from the 2008 and up they have uh projector headlights then i also got the fog lights installed so let's go over the car interior uh, as you can tell, it's a, it's a two-door. Well, actually, it's a three-door because this car is actually a hatchback. Uh, the roof is all glass. Uh, and it will go over that as well. So, inside the car... I still have these retarded floor mats, but whatever. Um, inside the car... Let's close the door. There's a steering wheel. You know, whatever, obviously. Cars have that, you know. Has the steering wheel controls for the audio volume whatever on the sides we have all fully automatic windows so one touch down one touch up for both on here i have two buttons that i just got installed for fog lights and interior illumination so let me get the key here's what the key looks like it's pretty cool I mean, it has the buttons built into it i still have the tag from the dealer so anyways we turn that on i think they're the radio has a cover. Uh, I'm gonna replace that uh, soon. So we turn the key on. My car has 625 miles on it. It's brand new. Hasn't even been broken in yet. Anyways, we'll we'll get back to that. Now uh, this has the you know regular controls: uh, heat, cold air conditioning, all that stuff, outside temperature buttons. I don't really like how the outside temperature is a button, so it either displays the time or the outside temperature. I don't know, I think that's kind of stupid, but whatever. Inside is a little cubby. I have a trash in there right now, I'm gonna throw it away. It also lights up amber when it's soon turn on the headlights. My car is a stick shift, so I don't know. I like stick shift, you know, whatever. So, uh, on the what else do we have? On the you know air conditioner vents is pretty cool. You can close them completely like that. And so say like you're the only one driving or whatever and like you need more air. If you like close the side ones that you know you don't you're not using, it'll actually have more air coming out, which is pretty cool. So if you open this, it's huge. I don't know. Um the car has a uh, tire pressure monitors and there's a button to reset it right there. I have like uh what do you, cologne? I don't know why it's in here. It's like I've kept it in my old car as well. A ton of space in here in the uh, glove compartment, a ton of space. The, the the thing they give you, the owner's manual, it comes with the med kit, so that's cool, I guess. Um, on the top, there's a moonroof and the moonroof for the passenger. We'll go over that later. And then <clears throat> has a little coin holder. So when it, if you get the default radio, or I think any radio that comes with Scion, you get cables, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So in, the, in, this, in this center console thing, there's a top level, which you can keep for like pens or whatever. Then there's a bottom level. And here I have a ton of cables right now. So I have this one, which is the factory iPod cable, which they give you for free. You can control your iPod from the stereo. It has an auxiliary cable. Let me get that out has an auxiliary cable for anything other than an iPod, so like any other MP3 players. And then it has a power out right there. So I have this one, it's for my, uh, I, you know, for my iPhone, because for some reason people can't seem to understand that the new iPods and iPhones like don't charge, like they have a new charging, you know, thing. So I don't know, this cable plays my iPod, but it doesn't charge it, which is pretty annoying to be honest. So, this is just a bunch of cables. I'll clean it up later because I'm, I'm replacing this unit with a uh, Pioneer AVIC X920BT 
uh, navigation and satellite radio and everything. So, all right. One thing I don't like is uh, these things don't have like lights, but no big deal. So here is, uh, you know, lights, whatever. This light is for the door. So like when, if you open the door, it's cool. Like the light fades in. There you go. And you close it. Same deal. It'll fade out. What am I? What, what's the point of shutting that? Okay, so right now my moonroof is tilted. So if we turn the key on, this thing opens completely. And do it again. All right. So now it's open. Look, look, look at that from the outside. It opens like that, and then there's like a wind deflector that comes up. It looks pretty cool. So, let's see what else we have. Yeah, uh, show the radio. Let's see what I'm talking about. Uh, here's my phone. It's an iPhone 3G. I'm gonna take the, the factory iPod cable. Here, sorry, I, you can't see anything. I plug it in. It just says charging isn't ex ex uh, doesn't work with this accessory. No big deal, whatever. This thing says iPod connected. Then you click the iPod button. Knockout. And it starts playing your music. Yeah, you can you can control it. This little button, like you push up, and then it'll be like playlists, artists. Yeah, you can't really see anything. Artists, you know, whatever. Just do whatever. All right, and then that's cool. And if you turn off the car, turn it back on the radio. It'll come right back to playing it. Uh, one thing I learned about this car when I when I bought it, or after I bought it, is that the stock radio and speaker system, it comes with uh, seven speakers. It has two speakers in the door, a tweeter right here, a speaker right here, same deal, tweeter, speaker, speaker in the back, another speaker in the back. We'll get back to the, we'll go to the back soon. Um, and a subwoofer, and the subwoofer actually isn't half bad in this car. I. I like it. I'm not gonna replace it. And my old car had a, a fusion subwoofer, so you know, I like I'm used to that. But this one, I like it. You know, so 